I asked you on the community tab if you like to see monthly teams on this channel and because the response was positive, here is the first one. Yes, the theme for this month is called Above the Clouds. I decided to choose this one because I'm not limited to a specific subject and I can create everything as long as it is well above the clouds. Also, if you have any idea for the next theme, which will be in March, let me know down below in the comments and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future video. All of this being said, I think we should open Photoshop. First, I got this beautiful landscape that has a lot of clouds or mist, to which I did a pretty similar image and merged them to each other. I guess it was way easier than I thought, but I'll take it. Next, I added more clouds. It's a bit ironic that the image is well above the clouds and yet I'm still adding a sky full of clouds, but I guess it works. After tweaking the colors and fixing some minor issues, with a solid color I made this part a bit more reddish orange in order to reflect the sunset. Then this amazing boat, which as you can see is a complex asset, will have its place somewhere in the composition, but for now I'll rework it a bit and mask the bottom with a cloud brush and change the colors to a more bluish tint. Now it's time to work on the foreground, for that I got this tree trunk which needs to be cut off from the image. So I took the pen tool and started clicking until I had no mouse. Then I moved the tree and placed it and with an exposure adjustment layer I painted some shadows here and there. One last step was to change the colors. Also I have this second tree to which I applied the same steps and used the puppet warp tool to find the perfect position. This one also needs to be cut out and I placed it on the other side of the image. Once again lower the brightness and use the color balance adjustment layer to change the colors. Here I made 3 copies of the bottom tree and use all of them to create a more natural look since it is a big tree I think it has different shapes and in the middle I blended them together. This fern will be placed in the bottom right and for this I only lower the brightness because it already matches the scene in terms of colors. I have one more fern to which I had to erase some parts, nothing new and in the end it looked the same. Now one thing that actually changed the scene so much was to add some grass on the trees. I painted all of it with my mouse and I have to say that the result was really impressive. I also added some mountains in the background, as usual, mask the edges and change the color so it matches the overall scene. I have one more image that contains some mountains in the distance and took the brush and masked it. For the last time I'm gonna cut out this tree with the pen tool and use the puppet warp tool to bend it. I also painted some grass on this branch that I just added and I did it for a few minutes and then made it a bit darker. With solid colors adjustment layers that are similar to the clouds, I painted on this last branch in order to add depth using atmospheric perspective and one more solid color set on yellow because there is some light casting on it. Now I got this IV image and I placed it on top. Also when I search for stock images I don't actually find them all at once, for example I thought about this one after I've seen that the top was missing something and as I expected it just makes me feel like it's some sort of a jungle. So I decided to add more. Here are the same steps, lower the brightness and change the colors. As you can see that one big bow that I had turned into multiple small ones. For each one I had to go and create a depth of field and I did it the exact way I did earlier. One more thing that I used was a bit of blur. I added some rune inscription to each boat from this image with a brush that I will link down below in the description if you want to use them for yourself. After that, to amplify the effect, I added a blue solid color adjustment layer set on linear dodge add and then I just kept adding different overlays. I also made this part a bit slower than before to let you see better what types of overlays I used and how I blend them into the composition. Overall, I just dragged them and changed the blending mode to screen or linear dodge add.
Yes guys, this is the final result and I really enjoyed making this piece. I really hope you like it too and if you want to learn more about Photoshop, I got this video where I also explain everything I do and I guarantee you can achieve the same results.